today I'm going to help you maximize your impact with your interview question, what are my strengths? I hope you enjoy. An interview is basically a sales call. You are the product and you're trying to get someone to buy you. So whether you're interviewing for a new position with a new company or trying to get a promotion within your current company, you must build up your confidence and know exactly why you deserve the job, promotion, or raise you are seeking. As a leadership coach, I love the question, what are your strengths? The interviewer is basically asking you, why are you great? Why do you deserve this job? And why should I hire you? Most interviewers will ask this question directly because it makes people think. It shows character, talent, and personality when delivered correctly. This article is designed to help you answer this question directly, along with highlighting your strengths throughout your entire interview. That way, if this question doesn't come up, with you, you will make sure the interviewer has no doubt you are the best candidate for the position. Now, to sell yourself, you must be confident. By confident, I do not mean arrogant or egotistical. I'm referring to genuine confidence that is supported by facts. This type of confidence is authentic and humbling. So you aren't technically selling anyone anything. You are just being you and owning your greatness. The easiest way to own your greatness is to create a list of top of your top 20 best qualities. The trick is to keep your list balanced with both personal and professional character traits that make you great. This can be a tough list to make, so if you struggle with it, think about what people would say about you. What would your current boss or colleague say? What would your parents say? Your significant other or your best friend? Think about a child in your life. What would they say? Are you funny? Friendly, loving, active, supportive. There are many other words out there, so think about what makes you great. If you want a little bit of a challenge, read this list out loud in front of a mirror, five times preferably, and see how comfortable you are. Read it in the format, I am blank, insert your word there, I am blank, insert your word there. When you complete the list, finalize your activity with I am great. This will show you how much you are actually accepting your greatness and taking ownership of it. Do this exercise until you take full ownership and you know exactly why you deserve this job. Now that we know why you are great and there is no doubt you deserve this position, let's pick the two to three words that you can use when asked what are your strengths. The tip to picking these two to three words is to make sure you do the research. Read over the job description. What traits are they looking for? Ask the recruiter, what's the hiring manager specifically asking for them to find? And my favorite way is to ask the hiring manager or the interviewer in the first interview what traits the ideal candidate needs in order to be successful in this role. This will give you plenty of ammo to be able to use throughout the rest of your interview. Once you know your two to three strengths that you want to highlight, think of a story, experience, or example that shows how these traits will add value to the company of interest. Make sure you don't get lost in your story and keep it short and sweet yet specific. Here are three tips to help you maximize your impact while creating your stories. One, create a bigger picture. Storytelling is all about painting a picture. You highlight one of your super strengths and then you create a story that includes a minimum of four to five additional strengths. This helps the interviewer to see how great you are without you having to list out each strength. Two, get curious. To make a good response great, end your statement with a question. This shows you are interested in them and it shows that you have the ability to gather information when needed. It also adds to the humbleness that comes with genuine confidence. Your ultimate goal is not to steal the show, but to add value to the organization and the team. And tip three is connect the dots. If there is an opportunity to relate your response to the company, team, or client, don't hesitate to make the connection. Doing this can help the interviewer visualize you in the company and on the team, which will get you the job offer sooner. See the article below if you'd like to see a story example with the tips that I just shared. As you continue to prepare for your interview, remember your list of strengths. You are the best candidate for this job, so make sure that every question you answer, you highlight all of your excellent skills through stories and experiences. Don't just focus on your resume, be relatable. In today's business environment, organizations tend to concentrate just as much on the culture of the team as they do the skills of the team members. Choose your impact and then consciously create it. Well, those are the tips and tricks that I have for you today. I hope you found them useful. If there is anything else that I can do, please don't hesitate to reach out. My name again is Christy Garcia at Mindful Choice Coaching. You can find me on LinkedIn or my website at mindfulchoicecoaching.com. I wish you the best of luck on your interview. I hope you get the dream job of your choice or the raise that you deserve. Thank you again and have a wonderful day.